Hi, my name is Esmeralda Lopez. I'm a third year at Michigan State University. My major is psychology, bachelor's in science, and my minor is bioethics. I'm on the PA physician assistant track, and I'm a peer assisted learner, which is in short terms for PAL. So as a PAL, I'm under content review. So Twice a week, I hold a review session, and I always try to do lessons the week before. So if students come, we can just review what they kind of already know. It's kind of more testing what they do know. And once a week, I hold drop-in tutoring, which is open to any questions. Hi, my name is Courtney Parker, and I am a secondary education, social science, English, and history student, um, and I'm also a pal. Um, every week I hold two study sessions and approximately two hours um, of uh, office hours a week. These study sessions are for us to go over the material um, that we talked about in class um, for students and it's open um, exclusively to students in the class. Um, and the study hours is another opportunity for students to come and ask questions about the material um, and talk in a little bit of personal <laughs> um, and quiet um, place, I mean, space about um, what they're worried about, some things we can talk over, and how they're feeling about the class. How really serves as a jumping board for freshman students who are often entering this big place that we know as MSU, and really helps them make this huge place seem a lot smaller. With the community that we build um, in our help rooms, our study sessions, um, and even in our, the rapport that they would build with us in our um, office hours, really help make this place a place that students love and a place that students feel affirmed and help. Hi, I'm Heather Assumption. I am a junior majoring in neuroscience and I am a PAL for an ISS 215 class. I know as a freshman, even though we were in person as a freshman, I still struggled with transitioning from high school to college. And I know that it's not an easy transition. And so I wanted to do whatever I could personally to be able to help those who are coming in and maybe aren't quite sure of exactly how to study yet, what exactly to focus on, and what to emphasize in their classes. And I want to be that person who helps it feel a little less intimidating to go into a classroom and be surrounded by so many other people. I had a student in one of my classes last year. He was very shy at first, and at first he wasn't doing so well in the class, and I personally reached out to him and let him know that, hey, I'm holding these study sessions and these office hours. Please feel free to come. It's more individualized. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. And I think it's a lot better than the classroom setting that has 300 students in it. And he started coming regularly to my study sessions and my office hours. And I saw him come out of his shell. He definitely understood the lectures more. And by the end of the year, he was sitting in the front row and answering all of the professor's questions. This is an amazing program. I believe it's benefited so many students and it not only benefits the students who I teach and I help, but it benefits me as a person because I think I've really grown through this program and I think it definitely makes me a better person and student overall. Hello, my name is Sierra Matz. I am a senior studying political science um, and I have been a PAL for two years. And this is an opportunity for students to come and develop new study skills and note-taking and different habits that can help them in courses that are traditionally difficult for students. You know, just seeing students be able to get better grades in courses and say that it was because of something that we had done together um, is a great, great reward as well. Doing remote, there has, of course, been additional challenges in courses. Um, I remember one student in the spring um, found it particularly difficult to go completely online um, and having the PAL study sessions as an additional resource um, really helped her to continue her success in the course. And she even reached out to me to, um, to say that the grades of students who do attend, which tend to be higher than those who don't. And I think this can really just speak on the success of the program and what students gain from attending our sessions and how that furthers their study skills and habits.